Hello everyone, my name is Adam Vox, and welcome to a first look at the brand new Ubuntu 16.04 long-term support release. It just came out April 21st, I believe was the targeted release date. It just released here. I'm getting a video to you hopefully this weekend on it. And they have some really cool changes to it. Now I do want to note that there is some fighter jets flying overhead, so there's going to be some weird noises in the background as there's a, an event called Thunder Over Louisville outside my city that I'm like less than a mile away from. And it, it's a big firework event tomorrow, so I'm trying to get this recorded today, but they're already doing the test flights, so you're going to hear some funny noises. But Ubuntu 16.04 launched, and while it still has the Unity launcher and generally looks not that different than the past recent releases, there's some cool things you can do for it, or do with it. First and foremost, now this one's called Xenial Xeris, I believe, and those both start with X's, and has five years of support, because this is the long-term support release. It's kind of designed more for enterprises, and they have introduced a new way of installing programs besides the normal aptitude canonical stuff. You now have what's called Snaps, which allows you to install more software outside of the normal Ubuntu repositories, without sacrificing security. So we're gonna get that going in a second. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's got a better virtualization stack. It's got support for OpenStack Metaka. You can use ZFS RAID or, you know, ZFS file shares, uh, file system types, which is traditionally reserved for very enterprise versions of Linux and stuff like FreeNAS, but you can now support it natively within Ubuntu as well as CEPHFS, C-E-P-H-F-S, not one I use, not one I'll use now. There's support for IBM Z and IBM Linux One systems, and of course you have the typical LibreOffice. There's more development tools. They've upgraded to 3.5 version of Python. Docker is on version 1.10. PHP is on version 7. MySQL is on 5.7. Juju 2.0, and glibc is on 2.23. So lots of updates there. There's generalized <laughs> updated packages with um, and now comes with Chromium, which is really nice to see. Like in the past, uh, why do they do this? I hate Unity. I'm going to say this right now. I cannot stand Unity whatsoever. It is a nightmare. So if I just search, I guess, Chrome, Chromium bookmarks, huh. According to all the information I've read, it comes pre-installed with Chromium because typically it only comes installed with Firefox, but I'm not seeing a listing here for it. I only still have Firefox, so we're going to have to install that ourselves, and then it's got updated genome stuff, and Microsoft's blessing as Microsoft is wanting to integrate it into Windows 10. Alright, so one of the biggest things that I think is kind of important here is that you can finally move the Unity launcher to the bottom of the panel to get it more like Linux Mint, Windows, general panels that we had in GNOME to begin with. Um, and I don't understand why they didn't have this before. Alright, unfortunately to move the panel, you can't, right, like, I, I don't know what they did with this Unity setup for, for Ubuntu, but I can't stand it. You, you can't go to, like, system preferences, appearance, do anything like that, behavior, you, you can't move it here. You have to use a command line, and I'm just going to copy-paste it here. Actually, I'll type it out so that way I can word it out for you. It will be in the description below and probably a comment, but it's gsettings set com dot canonical dot unity dot launcher launcher dash position bottom in apostrophes and boom it sets the panel to the bottom and sets you up more like a traditional workspace for linux don't know why you can't just do that in a setting um, but then you can go back up here and do the same thing but instead of putting in bottom you can put left I wonder if you can put right. Right. Oh, there's not a apostrophe there. Nope. You can literally only do left and bottom. GG Unity. This is why I stopped using Ubuntu, because Unity... Oh, it makes me mad. Moving on, let's check out these snaps, a new way to install packages within Ubuntu that... Once you install the setup for it, you shouldn't even you shouldn't even need the command line to install a lot of stuff, although you can use it. So sudo apt install snapd. Type in my password. Alright, snapd is already installed. So note, while not uh, on the developer.ubuntu.com. Note, while not yet available, support for browsing, installing, and removing snaps from the Ubuntu store will be added as a post-release upgrade 
to Ubuntu 6.04 after the release date. So it's not even available in the store right now. So I didn't even need to open that. All right, it's not liking the resolution for my VM again. Here we go. Come on, desktop. So I'm going to install an older app called, uh, it's just an Ubuntu calculator here. There, I'll post a link to this po to this developer page in the description. It kind of explains how to use snap in the command line. But if we do sudo snap install ubuntu, ah, ubuntu calculator-app.ubuntu core dev. This is called side loading, I believe. It's downloading the snap from the channel stable. We do get a much better visualization of our download progress and everything else compared to the typical aptitude installation process. So I do appreciate that, and it's downloading quite fast. Um, you can also you can also create a snap using Snapcraft. I like that they use that name um, for your own app packages. And then you can remove snaps and things like that. But of course, you'll need the app name if you're installing them since it's not supported in the Ubuntu store. But within a few months, it's probably going to be, you're probably just going to be able to install everything from the Ubuntu Software Center. That is their overall end goal. So that will be interesting. Again, personally, I won't be using the base Ubuntu installation. I will mainly be using Linux Mint. What the hell? It got to 99.97% and said snap not found. My ass. Once again, it gets to 99% and won't even install the app that's used as the example. On this developer page, this is really strange. Alright, in general, this is supposed to be an easier and safer way to install new apps and get newer apps quicker without, you know... W w without the previous tedious process, but this obviously isn't showing a good of ex a good example of that given that it is failing to download this. I don't know specifically why what's happening. It just says it's not finding the snap despite finding 99% of the snap and it, it will be a much easier and much better process once it's added to the Ubuntu Software Center. So I apologize that this isn't being shown off very well, but it is a really good thing to be added to, <laughs> to Ubuntu anyway. Uh, so they're, they're, they're making good progress with changing how users interact with the OS and I'm excited to see where they go with it. I'm just annoyed that I can't show it off in my video. Oh, 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 uh huh. Oh, damn it. That is not going to work. Let's see if we can actually get the, yeah. Okay. Software center op opened. Editors picks is empty. Featured application is blender. See, once everything is in the GUI, it'll be easier for your average user to understand. Click install, type in your password, and authenticate. That's how you install normal programs, but then you'll get more available programs simply by going through Snap. So that'll be pretty cool. Here we go. Editor's pick. Wow, an editor's pick is a terminal, is, is the built-in terminal. Someone hasn't updated this very <laughs> often. <laughs> There's a recommended game, open arena. If you want to see me review games from the Linux you know, environment, let me know. I, I'll have to figure out, since I do run a separate gaming channel, I'll have to figure out if I should review them there and point back to this channel for the actual tech side of things or what I should do, because that could be prove problematic. And the games aren't going to be running natively, so who knows how well performance will be. That will be another problem, but... So this is what Ubuntu 16.04 looks like. Again, basically looks exactly the same as previous versions, because LOL Unity and the same annoying like graphical style. I'm sorry snap didn't work out guys, but a review of the features you can now if with a command line move the Unity launcher only to the bottom not to the right or the top But just just to the bottom if you want it there. There's updated developer tools updated software uh, There's now going to be a snap installation package within a few months that makes installing software and updating software easier uh, there's Microsoft integration coming soon to Windows 10, your usual LibreOffice, more support for systems for it to be natively installed on, ZFS and CephFS, that is hard to say, file system support, OpenStack support, LXD container for virtual machine, interesting stuff there, and five more years of support since this is the long-term support version. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.